Let's do systems. We know that the infinite solutions are going to be when the, it is the same equation. So let's see. This would be no solution because they don't cross. This would be one solution because they meet here. It asks for the answer choice that is no solution. So that means it can't cross. A is eventually going to cross. So yeah, nah, can't be A. This one does cross, so nah, can't be B. That one is more obvious, nah. This is the only one that's not going to cross, so that's going to be my answer. Let's move on. The reason this question was hard was because you had to graph x equals 3, and everybody thinks x equals 3 is this. But remember, that's y equals 3. x equals 3 has to cross the x-axis, so that's here. And that is the solution to this system, 3, 7. Now, if you couldn't do that by hand, we know that we can go to menu 3, 2. And graph, or excuse me, type in the two equations given. And there's my 3, 7. So remember, this is y equals 3, or f of x equals 3, and this one is your x equals 3. Um, which one, which answer choice describes these two equations? So given the system below, how many solutions are there? So you can do the same thing. Then 3, 2, press enter. So y equals 2x minus 1, and 2y equals 4x minus 2. And it gives me um, the c's in the answer. And remember, we talked about that. When it gives you c's, it means infinite. When it says no solution found, it's no solution. When it says one solution found, it actually gives you the x and the y. So the answer for this one would be an infinite amount of solutions. Okay, for these two questions, you do the same thing. You do menu 3, 2, but it asks for the value of x only. So when you practice that, you'll see that you plug it in here, like we just did, and get these two answers. Um, I'm only going past that because we've already done that in class and I've already shown you menu the two on two questions. No need to show you here. Okay. Now we look at this question and it says a lot. <laughs> Let's break it down real quick. Um, a candy company sells cases of chocolate bars. The company has fixed costs of 30000 and each case of chocolate costs an addition of five to make. I know you're probably ignoring what that says, but I need to explain to you that when it says 30,000 and then each case is an addition of five, it's describing the equation. That's all it is. So no worries. 30,000 and so plus each case of chocolate bars would be five dollars. Each case would be five dollars. There it is. Okay, then it says the company sells each case for $10. Okay, each case for $10. La la. Um, the next important thing, let's keep reading the graph of the, look at that. It tells you that you have a system of linear equations. My goodness, menu 3, 2, all day long. But what else is important? It says that the X represents the, the cases of chocolate. That's very important. You know why? If X is the cases of chocolate bars, uh oh, hold on. If X is the cases of chocolate bars, X is the number of cases, what does it mean right here? How many cases is asking for the value of X? Did you realize that this word problem is the same problem right here? What is the value of X? given the system of linear equations? It is, it's just a word problem form. So don't miss this, don't skip this, okay? So menu three, two, and enter y equals 
30,000 plus 5x. And I really shouldn't do this considering I did the other ones. But I'm going to do it because the numbers are so big and it's a word problem. And when I finish, it gives me two numbers. So x is 6,000 and y is 60,000. You have to be careful because both answers are there. So it asks for x. If you had not have read this part and known that it was x from here or from there, you would have missed it because it gave 60,000, but that's not the number of cases, okay? That's the y value. Okay, next word problem. A high school band held a bank si bake sale. The number of cupcakes, okay, number of cupcakes sold was for more than twice the number of cookies in these K. So the band sold a total of 52 cupcakes and cookies. How many cupcakes were sold? Do you know you're ready for Mini 3-2 now? Because you have two equations. Now I haven't shown you how to use Mini 3-2 and change the letters, so let me show you that. I'm going to make this C, and then I'm going to make this K. Press Enter. And this is C equals 4 plus 2K, and 52 equals C plus K. Uh-oh. I should put that next. C plus K. Boom. Okay, so C is first, which is 36. K is next, which is 16. And remember, my K was cookies, and my C was cupcakes, and it wants cupcakes. So the answer is 36. And you have to be careful because 16 is there too. So that's why it's good to go ahead and use C and K versus X and Y. Okay. I am going to um, do this one, and then on the next video, do the rest. There are 156 laptops and computers, so you should have 156 equals L plus D. All right, now this part, there are eight more laptops and desktops. We talked about that in class. The more laptops, that's what you set it equal to, because you have more of those. You have less desktops, so you need to add that to the eight. It's the outside information equals the inside information. Now you have enough to put into menu 3-2. I mean, my goodness, that's it. So you put that in the calculator, and however you set up your letters, whichever number is in the L spot is the answer. Not this one, but in the L spot. That's it, guys. Um, I'm pressed for time, but I'm almost done. I think I can try to finish these few questions on this video. Let me see if I can do it. The total cost of peaches and oranges is going to be $7.92. So P plus, I'm going to use R equals $7.92. There are three more oranges, so that's my total, than peaches. So I'm going to put the peaches with the three because it's less. Okay, if there, if the peaches cost 44 cents, well, this is the money equation, so I need to put my 44 cents with the decimal there, my 88 cents decimal on the oranges. Can one say that eight peaches is a reasonable amount? Well, all you're going to do is do your menu three, two again, and here are your two equations. When you get your answer, this is, one's going to be P, one's going to be R. If the peaches does not say 8, the answer to this question is no. And I'm telling you, when you put this in the calculator, it does not say 8 for peaches. So 8 is not a reasonable amount because this tells you how many peaches there are going to be. So if it says 10, then 8 is not a reasonable number because 8 is not the answer. So when it says, can one say that 8 peaches is a reasonable amount, that means is 8 P is P, peaches, 8, and it's not. So the answer is no. It's not a reasonable amount. Um, quickly, this one is hard. So I'm going to put that one on another video separate. On this one, I have a college student that needs 11 classes. Well, that's a total. That's why you see it at the end. And then I have a total of 40 credits. That's another total. Well, there are four credit classes and three cre credit classes. And F is the four credit classes, so 4F. 
three is the three credit classes. So three H, because it says it. H is the number of three credit classes. So three H. The question is, is the four and three going to go in the same spot as the 40 or the 11? Well, that's going to be 40, because this is talking about credits. And which equation does that? Well, that one does it. That one does, but it put the four on the wrong letter. This one does it, but it doesn't set it equal to 40. Four um, and three describe the credits, and that's 40. So the answer has to be J. The reason they did F plus H is 11, because this is counting up the classes. F does represent the four credit classes. So how many of those do you have? H does represent the three credit classes. So how many of them do you have? And that would be 11. So, um, I just realized that you couldn't see these. Sorry, I'll show you again. F plus H equals 40. That's not what I needed. 4H plus 3F equals 11. That's not what I needed. I needed all the credit information in one equation, and it only happens in J. Now, I see here that 4F and 3H are there, but again, it's set equal to 11, not 40. I see it here set equal to 40, but the 4 is on the wrong letter. So the answer is J. Okay, I have nine books that are stacked. And I know that the thickness of each book is either one inch or two inch. So these nine books have a height of 14. Well, 14 and nine are my totals. So one equation is supposed to talk about the thickness, and the other one is going to talk about how many books. Well, X is one inch, and Y is two inches. So if I do X plus Y, I'm going to add up how many books I have. But if I want to talk about the inches, it's going to be 14. I have 1 inches, and then I have 2 inches. So which one does that correctly? 1, X plus 2, Y equals 14. X plus Y is 9. The answer is H. So this is talking about the number of books. This one is talking about the inches. I have $2 in dimes and quarters. So D plus Q equals two dollars, but dimes are ten cents and quarters are twenty-five. You have to remember to put that in there. If there are five um, coins, well, my dimes plus my quarters equals five. You're done. This next one says that you have the sum of perimeters of two different squares is thirty-two. So the sum of the perimeters that means I need to. Um, add up the perimeters of two different squares. That's hidden information. There are four equal sides to squares. And then it's going to take the difference in the next one of their perimeters. And it says that it's going to be 8 centimeters. So the sum is 32, the difference is 8. So sum 32, difference 8. Sum 32, difference 8. All of them do that, but this is the only choice that gives you the sides as 4. And why is that important? If x represents the side length, so x is the side length of the larger one, and then y is the side length of the smaller one, you have to have a 4 on all of them, not a 2 and a 4, 4 on both, the large and small. We have two left, and I think I'm going to make it in enough time. The pigs and goats together cost $21. So P plus G does equal 21, but it says right here that the pigs and goats are 150 each. I can eliminate A and C. It has to say 150 for pigs and 150 for goats, so either B or D. Well, this sentence right here says that six more pigs than goats, that at six, plus goats is going to equal what's more of the pigs. Now I don't see either one of those there, so they changed this with a minus sign. That means you can move the 6 over and do P minus 6 is G, or move the G over and do P minus G is 6. And this one says that the P is negative. That doesn't happen on either of my um, new versions of P equals 6 plus G. So the answer has to be D, and that one matches that one. Last but not least, pencils and markers cost 120 but it says that the markers are 450 each, and the pencils are $3 each. So 3P plus 450M has to be 120 3P, 450E, 450M, 120 So yes to that one. 
no to that one, and yes to that one. Then seven more pencils than markers. So seven more pencils, that's what it's going to equal. Seven more pencils than markers. So plus in. Now the two versions, because I noticed that this one doesn't match and that one doesn't match. And this is not an answer choice anymore. So I can move my M over and have M um, negative, excuse me, P minus M, leave him positive, move him over, make him negative. That can be one. Or move the 7 over, so P minus 7 equals M. And I see that P minus 7 does equal M. Good, but P plus M equals 7 is not accurate. So the answer is B. And that concludes this video on systems. I will put one more video on here that goes over this. I want you to try this one first before I video it. Thank you for